Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining Austin Chamber Music Center, Austin Classical Guitar, Conspirare, and KMFA tonight for the Power of Friendship, our Winter Storm Benefit Concert. My name is Matt Hinsley. I'm Executive Director of Austin Classical Guitar, and I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy, and that tonight's concert will bring you inspiration. Our community went through another difficult trial last week on top of difficult trials. And I know that all of us have been struck by our own experiences and stories we've heard of friends and neighbors helping one another. And that's really what tonight is all about. Tonight is a fundraiser for three local nonprofits doing inspiring work on the front lines of storm relief. And they are Black Leaders Collective, Central Texas Food Bank, and Impact Now Dove Springs. If you haven't already donated and you would like to, the link is in the description of tonight's event and we'll be placing it in the chat all night long uh, in the YouTube chat function. With me are my dear friends and collaborators, Michelle Schumann from Austin Chamber Music Center and Craig Hella Johnson from Conspirare. Michelle, would you say a few words about tonight's program overall? I would love to. It is just such a pleasure to be here with all of you. So many of our friends out there, thank you so much for joining us this evening. And I will tell you that uh, Craig, Matt, myself, we always jump at any opportunity to work together. So it's been just wonderful putting together this program. And it's been a real labor of love to support our friends, our neighbors, and our community but you know, it hasn't been a labor at all. It's just been love, 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 love. And this program reflects that theme, the theme of friendship, unity, compassion, empathy, hope, and love. And each piece is chosen for tonight's program to kind of weave this thread throughout. And it's designed to make you feel through music and through art, those things that we share so deeply together. Um, you're going to hear a huge variety of pieces on tonight's program, all chosen by um, the leaders of ACG, ACMC, and Conspirare. So I hope you enjoy tonight's program. Craig, would you like to say hello and just and get us kicked off uh, for this evening? Mm, thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. I want to say welcome also to everyone here with us. It is really awesome to have this night and the, the title of this night uh, all about friendship. Uh, certainly, as Michelle and Matt have stated, it's we, we love getting together, the three of us, just and all of the members of our organizations. We feel a close kinship and 
much work that we share. But tonight, it's about a very broad circle of friendship. Very excited uh, and feel honored to be supporting the work of these three very inspirational organizations that support members of our community. And we welcome all those friends from near and afar who are a part of this evening. So um, let's begin with some music. And I'm, I get the lucky job of, of introducing our first piece tonight. So uh, this will be sung by Conspirare. Um, and Conspirare, as many of you know, a group of vocal artists that come from around the country to meet here in Austin. And they have become very much an Austin home-based ensemble for many years now. And I love them very much. Uh, they are true collaborators and friends of, of all of ours as well. Um, they're going to be, uh, you'll hear them sing a, a piece by Ross Lee Finney. I'm excited on a very small little trivial note to mention I as a fellow Minnesotan love to share that this composer is also from Minnesota um, and uh, not with us since 1997, but he wrote a piece, a collection called Spherical Madrigals that had everything to do with circles, globes, orbits, uh, round things. And this was a very special movement called See How the Arched Earth. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful text. All of the texts were 17th century texts. And this is, um, I don't know, just a way that we not only think about our own community, but a broaden the whole human family as we think about the family, the global human family that's on this particular uh, global orbit here together. Um, and hope you enjoy this performance. So we're gonna listen now to um, See How the Earth, sung by Conspirare by Ross Lee Finney.
Oh my goodness, Craig and Consperare and composer Ross Lee Finney. That was so beautiful. What a perfect way to start things off tonight. Um, so now I'll get to introduce the next two things. Uh, the first is going to be Daniel Fears with his song, Get Right, Get Free, from a performance he did with us with Mancho Toth and Claire Puckett back in December. Daniel is one of our music and healing artists at Austin Classical Guitar, working with people in our community who have experienced trauma. Healing artists listen and spend time and then create something personal and expressive together with the individuals that they serve. Right now, Daniel is working with guitar classes at Northeast High School on a songwriting project. When we thought of friendship and music, we thought of Daniel and we thought of music and healing. Right after that, we're going to go directly live to one of Austin's great music treasures, Oliver Rajamani, who is preparing right now to play for you from KMFA's Draylen Mason Music Studio. Lost in my head, I can't remember what you said to me Seeing visions and colors, it's like I'm caught up in a waking dream A melody calling through a sentence or a turn of phrase It takes me away from the confusion in the present day Get free through the radio Get right Get free through the radio We laugh, we sing, we dance to the song we know Get right Get free through the radio the tailor made back then we never asked is there promotion are we getting paid the feel of the music it was fitting like a lock and key we never had to say too much oh, but we agreed get right Get free through the radio Get right Get free through the radio We laugh, we sing, we dance to the song we know Get right Get free through the radio
Oh my, that was incredible. Thank you so much, Oliver. That was divine and that was incredibly powerful. And music is so powerful. You know, I've been reflecting so much on this idea of power lately. And a few weeks ago, so many people lost power and that was devastating. But beyond that, there was something worse. The people were powerless, powerless to know what to do and powerless to know what was going to happen next and when things were going to get better. And I was so incredibly humbled by so many people who used whatever resources they had at hand and so many people who reached out to check on people, to help people in that way. And from there comes this idea of empowerment. And through donations and through helping others, I'm thinking about donations of water and blankets, opening up people's homes to others to help out, there was that sense of empowerment. And when we lift up others and when we help the people around us, we are all lifted up at the same time. And ultimately, I think that this comes from a place of empathy and that idea of really 
trying to understand what people are going through so that we can do our best to help them in whatever way we can. And that's what today is about. And I want to thank all of you who have donated. And if you haven't yet, um, just want to encourage you to do that because there are still many, many people who have great, great need. And this next set is about this idea of empathy. The first piece that you're going to hear coming up is by Ivan Trevino. It's a piece called Empathy. And it was written for vibraphone and piano. And you'll hear what's happening in this music. There's this kind of weaving of lines between the vibraphone and the piano, which are pretty homogenous instruments. And you'll hear that we're playing together, but um, not quite together. And it's as if we're chasing each other constantly, trying to understand each other. And the piece has this incredible journey. And at the end, we come to that place of understanding. Um, and the players start playing together. And it's a really beautiful moment. I'm talking about the players as if there's some other people. It's me on the piano and together with the fabulous percussionist, Tom Burrett. And, and it's a divine piece of music. And that is followed by a piece by Ricky Ian Gordon called Poor Little Heart with text and poetry by Emily Dickinson. And Emily Dickinson, her music, her Poetry speaks for itself, such incredible words that have imagery and beauty. And this piece is incredibly vulnerable and um, also powerful in its own way. So I want to thank you again for being here, and I hope you enjoy this next set.
Uh, it was so beautiful to hear that again. Oh, thank you, Michelle and Sonia and Tom. That was exquisite. That last song was a part of a, a recital series called The Poet Sings that Consperare was so happy to present in another sort of picture of these friendships that we have locally. Both Sonia Tengblad, who just sang Du Toi, and um, Eric Neville uh, collaborated with Michelle for those beautiful concerts, all singing a variety of texts of Emily Dickinson. It was a very, very special uh, weekend. I'll never forget it. Thank you. And Tom, again, is extraordinary. He's a brother collaborator. We, we play and sing together all the time. Yeah, thank you so much again, all of you, for being with us tonight. This is extraordinarily special. And uh, we do this, we allow music to be, I like to think of it, the campfire around which we gather, but also a container, not to throw out too many metaphors here, but this container, music can hold so much in our lives. It, it holds... Uh, so much so that is difficult to express. And we've all been going through a lot and so many people right now are in great hardship. And it's why we're gathering to, to support them, to support our friends and our community members, our neighbors, and to remind each other about that empowerment that can come when one offers a hand to another. And we do that in many ways. And tonight we do it with music as the catalyst. I now have the joyful task of getting to introduce uh, this next piece and the players. Uh, the music is Beethoven and the players are the very special artists and friends from the Moreau Quartet. Um, they are one of the world's finest string quartets and they're in demand really around the world. And we feel all of us very, very proud to call them our very own, our Austin Quartet too. So it's very special to introduce them tonight. Um, this quartet too, this is, this is the fourth movement from Opus 130 String Quartet. So just quickly to say there are six pieces that we often call the late quartets of Beethoven. They started out as five string quartets and then for lots of, for a long story, which we don't have time for tonight, having to do with this quartet and the final movement, it ended up being six separate movements. But we're gonna to hear tonight the fourth movement uh, uh, played by Moreau. And uh, this is uh, Alla Danza Tedesca, really it means in the style of a German dance. It's a rustic um, folk dance, even a parody really of a, of a folk dance, but a fantastic movement from an incredibly massive repertoire. So time now to enjoy uh, the Moreau Quartet playing uh, the fourth movement of Opus 130 of Beethoven, uh, Alla Danza Tedesca.
Oh, it is so much fun to see the Miro String Quartet performing again. They are so fabulous. We are so lucky to have them right here in Austin. And it's worth noting that the last time that Austin Classical Guitar, Austin Chamber Music Center, and Consperare joined forces for a big community benefit concert was actually right after Hurricane Harvey in 2017. And on that occasion as well, the Miro Quartet lent their talents. Uh, we are lucky indeed to have them and to be friends with them here in Austin. So now it is time to head back over to KMFA's Draylen Mason Music Studio for one more live set uh, from Oliver Rajamani. A lot of what we've been hearing tonight are these wonderful recorded moments that have happened um, not too uh, far in the past uh, from each of our organizations. But Oliver is performing right now live and we are streaming it. Our production team is over there at the KMFA studio. Uh, so I'd like to say uh, uh, that KMFA is donating their space and has supported tonight's program all week long as our fourth partner um, in this concert. So we're very grateful to them. And I'd also like to mention that, of course, as you're listening, I hope if you haven't already that you'll consider making a contribution through austinclassicalguitar.org slash friendship to support uh, critical, and it is critical, winter storm relief efforts that are happening in our community um, because there are a lot of people in need of a lot of help in recovering from last week's storms. And so that's what tonight is all about. Um, okay, here's Oliver.
hope you're all are keeping safe out there. Wishing Texas a safe and healing time.
Oh, that was fantastic. So wonderful. Thank you so much, Oliver. What an incredible gift that is to all of us. The next piece features one of my favorite living composers, Carlos Simon, who wrote this piece, Sleep Well, as a lullaby for his baby nephew. And I think we could all use a lullaby these days, like every night we need a lullaby, I think. Austin Chan Music Center was supposed to have a concert during the winter storm, but we knew that there were needs elsewhere and it just didn't feel like the right timing. So instead we rescheduled our concert for tomorrow night. And one of the reasons why I chose this piece that you're about to hear is that uh, Carlos Simon is a black composer and tomorrow night it is our annual black composers concert that we are featuring. So I hope that you will join us. I would love to have you at this concert tomorrow night to hear seven incredible composers and compositions. Um, and it would just be my honor to have you there. And I'm so happy to be here with you, of course, this evening as well. And for now, I hope that you will just let this incredibly gorgeous piece just wash all over you. It really is truly special.
Michelle, that was so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We did all need a lullaby and we do need them nightly. And I think we would all appreciate it if you would maybe just come on a big old mobile truck to each of our homes each night and play that very lullaby. So we would be really happy. So thank you in advance for, for offering that. <laughs> I am um, happy now to share a, a recent performance of a song by Annie Lennox that I arranged actually. I love to take some of these uh, popular songs or so songs by rock and roll singers even. And so many great songs being written now and to turn them into some kind of a choral arrangement, something that you know, a basically classical choir can do. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, message. This is basically just kind of a song of gratitude, kind of a praise for the beautiful things in life. But what I love about it is it also feels very grounded and very good for these times right now. It's in C minor, you know, not necessarily the key you think of as a sort of song of praise and thanksgiving for sort of that which you love in your life. <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's kind of how what we're living through right now, each of us is trying to sort of hold on to those places of remembering what it is we cherish and value and what's important to us, who's important to us, uh, what we care about in this life and keep singing that song, keep playing that song, keep expressing it in our lives in all kinds of different ways, even as we are challenged. And uh, so hope you enjoy this. I'll just read a little bit of the words and then you'll hear them again. And she says, every day I write the list of reasons why I still believe they do exist. A thousand beautiful things. And even though it's hard to see the glass is full and not half empty, a thousand beautiful things. She goes on later to say, I thank you for the air to breathe, the heart to beat, the eyes to see again, a thousand beautiful things. Never close my eyes, never close my eyes again. So here is Consperare and soloist Kathleen Rich uh, singing uh, an arrangement I wrote of uh, Annie Lennox's song, A Thousand Beautiful Things. Every day I write the list of reasons why I still i 
Wow, Craig, I just uh, don't have the words for that. Um, so beautiful. Uh, what an amazing artwork to create during this time and to put those voices together and uh, Kathleen singing that solo of that beautiful song. Um, my heart is very full. Thank you, Conspirare and Craig and, and to all of the musicians that we've heard tonight. We have arrived at the final piece of tonight's program. Thank you everyone who's been with us this, this whole concert. This is a very special performance of a song that everyone knows. It is sung by Devin Gutierrez, who is a former Austin classical guitar student from Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Uh, this video was actually recently promoted by none other than Carol King and James Taylor. So you might be able to guess what the song is. Uh, Devin is super talented. Tonight he's actually playing keyboards as well as singing. And before we hear this final piece, I'd like to thank Devin. I'd like to mention that he has a new EP coming out soon called Peripheral Vision. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'd like to thank the Music Moves Mountains Foundation for sponsoring the creation of Devin's video and allowing us to share it tonight. And of course, um, I understand we are just shy of $19,000 raised, which is amazing tonight. Um, and it would be so incredible to be able to send uh, $20,000 uh, over to our dear friends at um, the three organizations that are working so hard in our community that we are supporting tonight. Um, so I'd like to encourage everyone to consider a donation before the song is over, if you haven't already, and so many of you have, to support tonight's fundraiser. Uh, here's Devin. When you're down in trouble and you need some love and care and nothing, nothing is going right. Close your eyes and think of me. Brighten even your darkest night. You just call out my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see. Sky above you, it's 
Constructed full of clouds And that old North wind Begins to blow Just keep your head together And call Oh, I'm just smiling from ear to ear. That was just so wonderful. And we were all just like rocking it out back here in the backstage of, of this Zoom. <laughs> so wonderful. And this whole event has been so exquisite. I am so humbled by so many fantastic artists that we had on this program and to be amongst so much beauty. And so much beauty from you who are all watching this program, your contributions, your support, your thoughts, your love, all of that is so incredible with uh, this in our community. So thank you so much for being here. And you know, I have to run cause I gotta go fire up my mobile lullaby truck. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna hand that over to you, Craig. <laughs> That's right, she's gonna be busy. So the first 15 people in the chat who say, Michelle, come on over, she'll be seeing you tonight and the rest will have to go <laughs> tomorrow. She can only do 15 in an evening. I want to add just my thanks to well, everybody who was a part of this, the amazing team that put it all together, my great collaborators here and partners and all the artists indeed. I am so inspired as well by just these wonderful family of musicians. And I just want to say to all of you listening and all of those within earshot, uh, after this is over, just let's let the heart of what we experienced tonight together just keep expanding. And let's mm -hmm walk out of these uh, difficult times, circumstances, as we move through them, you know, changed and transformed, um, really uh, 
connecting with the power of friendship truly and what it is when we show up with each other um, in these small and large ways. So thank you all for being a part of it. Thank you for your gifts. And please encourage others to give. There's always time to give after this is over too. And um, we're so grateful. So Matt, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Michelle, dear friends. 100% um, of the proceeds of tonight's benefit concert will be split evenly between three organizations doing vital storm relief work in our community. And those organizations are Black Leaders Collective, Central Texas Food Bank, and Impact Now Dove Springs. And to give you a sense of what your gifts are supporting, a Terry Mitchell, who is the founder of Black Leaders Collective, told me on Thursday that this past week they pushed out over 24,000 meals to people in our community. Derek Chubbs, I, uh, we heard from at the C Central Texas Food Bank. He said that there are unusually high levels of need right now. Um, David Horning is the executive director over at Impact Now Dove Springs. And he, he's a volunteer along with everyone there at INDS. And he said that the storms have made the needs that they serve even more pressing. Um, with all of the struggles they have getting the food that they need uh, to the people that need it. So thank you everyone who has contributed tonight. I'm confident we're going to meet and exceed that $20,000 that we were talking about a minute ago. We were so close just a moment ago and we are incredibly grateful. Um, thank you to all of you. Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to our production team tonight, Jen Bamberg, who is our uh, virtual event director. Jeffrey Blair over at KMFA is the audio engineer. Jess Griggs is our production assistant. Todd Hogan, KMFA interim communications coordinator, was a big part of making this week possible. Eric Pearson is our technical director. Siad Wells is on uh, social media and communications and is our Director of Individual Giving. Jordan Walsh was a production assistant tonight. Joe Williams is our artistic director at ACG, was on site tonight with cameras. And North Shore Media Productions did all of our video editing and videography for new content for this evening. Uh, we here at ACG, along with our partners, Craig and Michelle, Austin Chamber Music Center, Conspirari, and KMFA, we, we like to thank all of our incredible staff, our board, our donors, our volunteers for the support of this event and everything that we do. Thanks to all the performers and composers whose artistry we enjoyed tonight. Uh, Julie Frost and the Music Moves Mountains Foundation, thanks to you and to Devin Gutierrez for that wonderful video that ended the program tonight. Thanks to the Miro String Quartet and Orcas Island Chamber Music Festival for sharing the Miro String Quartet video. Thank you, Oliver Rajamani, for sharing your spirit and music live with us tonight at the KMFA's Draylon Mason Music Studio. And thanks to everyone watching tonight for your presence for your generous donations and for your belief in the power of music to do good in the world. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night.